Well, there's two sides to the women's fire crew of the Western Colorado Conservation Corps. Mitigate fire fuels training and wildfire training. New at 10, our nightside reporter Rob Hagan stands by live at the Conservation Corps with more details on the women's fire crew. Rob? Jillian, the Bureau of Land Management has been in partnership with the WCCC and the women's fire crew for three years now. And the partnership is growing. Membership is increasing and it's a good thing because fire season's approaching. It takes three things to be a wildland firefighter, bravery, determination, and a chainsaw. The S212 chainsaw is the right tool to mitigate fire fuels, and these women are trained to use them. But these women aren't just fighting fires, they're breaking barriers. Fire world is very male dominated, and I think it's uh, just a great opportunity to partner with the BLM and get more women into the program. The Western Colorado Conservation Corps has partnered with the Bureau of Land Management for the last three years to train women fire crews to do two things. Reduce the ability for fire to burn or fight the fire where it stands. It's a 40 hour class that does, is fairly rigorous, fairly involved, and then when you come out of that, you're a qualified, certified uh, federal firefighter. He says fire season starts in June, but this year we're already under drought stress and under the average snowpack. Hydraulic cycle has been impacted. Our soil moisture has been impacted. The actual vegetation has been impacted. Olivia has already fought fires when South Dakota was burning and knows what it takes. Dedication and a willingness to Pretty much just subject your body to like whatever comes at you. To be a member of the women's wildland firefighting crew, you have to be brave like Emily, but you also have to know how to operate a chainsaw. Awesome. We run saws all day, every day, like nine hours a day. And work on the chainsaw. When we get back here, we really dig deep inside the saws and make sure they're cleaned and sharp and ready to go for our next project. Super fulfilling and rewarding, and I am just really appreciative that this program even exists. Patrick with Upper Colorado River Fire says his organization is striving to hire more women firefighters to the workforce. And Olivia says she worked with 26 males on the fire lines and only one female on the equipment line during the South Dakota wildfires. But she says she's not intimidated, she's inspired. First on the Western Slope and live outside the perimeter fence of the Western Colorado Conservation Corps, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Jillian, how good are you with a chainsaw? Not good at all. You're not going to want to see me do that. You're going to have to leave that up to the professionals we saw right there. Thank you so much, Rob. Well,